Hey y'all, I'm back with another linear programming problem in Python uh, using the poll package and this is the lockbox problem. There are three pages to it and it's from a textbook which I will leave in the description below and um, it has a lot of information so try to follow along um, but I'm going to try to summarize everything um, so that you don't have to sit and read through all of it since I've already done that. Um, so basically um, in this problem we have a credit card company or some type of company that receives credit card payments from the four regions of the country, west, midwest, east, south. Um, and there is an average daily value of the payments from each region. So um, the west is 70,000, midwest is 50,000, east is 60,000, south is 40,000. So uh, we have to decide where the customers are going to mail these payments. And we can earn 20% 20, uh, 20 annual interest by investing these revenues. And... Um, so the different options of cities we can set up operations in are uh, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, and Atlanta. Um, and the average number of days until a check clears and we can deposit the money, it depends on the city that it was sent to um, and the region. So that's down here in this table, and that's going to be one of our parameters. Um, and also, just a side note, I'm going to kind of go through this and program at the same time, just so I don't have to go through it all and then go back through everything while I'm showing you how to solve it in Python. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through it all at the same time. Anyway, so um, the number of days that it can be um, cleared in depends on the city and the region. Um, and then we want to minimize the sum of costs due to lost interest and lockbox operations. Um, so our two decision variables, first we want to decide whether we're even going to operate in that city. Um, and that's going to be our y subscript j value, um, or j variable. And then our second one is also binary, and this is to determine if we're going to send from a certain region to a certain city j. So region i, uh, city j, and then let me just pull up my notes here really quick. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and start creating the sets for that. So always start with from pulp import for these problems. So first we're going to have our city set, and I kind of um, wrote them all out, I didn't use numbers, LA, I just kind of abbreviated them, LA, Chicago, New York, ATL, um, so just make sure you have single quotes around those, and then we have our region set, so west, Midwest. You could probably abbreviate these two. Um, east, South. And then um, we're going to call our first parameter lost cost. So this is our lost cost, um, our lost interest cost that we receive. Um, and this cost is because, um, let's see, down here, we have, um, let's see, how many? Um, we have like an annual interest that we lose. Um, so it just depends again on the city. So it says on any d given day, eight days worth, um, or eight times 70,000 from the West um, of West payments will be in the mail and will not be earning interest. Um, and this is all down here. So these are the same. If you look, you can see that these are the same number of days, um, and we just multiplied the day times the average daily value times the interest. So um, those are the average days that we lose, average number of days that we are losing 20% interest. Um, so thankfully, this is all already written out for us, and I'm also just going to copy and paste this parameter because um, it's a lot to type out. But just follow it exactly if you're doing this problem yourself. Just make sure you um, you can index um, either the city or the region first. But I started with the region and then did another colon. And then you put in curly brackets each individual um, total lost interest. And I if that's in thousands, so um, you don't have to type it all out. Um, and then let's see, our next parameter is going to be the lost lockbox operating cost, um, which is 50000 This is for all um, of the city. So 
I'm going to call that op cost. And then LA is going to be 50,000. Oh, they're going to be 50,000. Um, but yeah, we are typing the city first, colon 50. All right, and then next, of course, we want to set our problem variable, prob equals LP problem. I'm definitely probably going to have to split up this video. I'm calling this lockbox, and we are minimizing the total loss cost. Minimize. Okay. Um, so next, we have our decision variables. Um, so let's call this first one city. Actually, you know what? We're going to use um, just the X and the Y. I've started doing that recently. It's just made things a whole lot easier. So let's call this Y vars. Um, and we use our LP variable function. And let's see. Um, dot D I C T S. And I'm going to say this is um, use city. So we are using that city to operate. And we are referring to the city set. There's only one subscript, and that's our four different cities. Um, our lower bound is zero, upper bound is the one since this is binary, and we write LP binary. And then next, we have our x variable. Let's just call this send because we want to send payments from that region to that city. And we do have to do a loop or two different loops because we have two subscripts. So we put our two subscripts in parentheses, i comma j. We say for i in region. That's just what they use. They said from region i to city j. I just wanted to keep that simple. Um, and then we line that up with that loop above it. And we say for j and city. Close it off with another bracket and then start a new line and say 0, 1, LP binary. Let's see how long this video is. I'm going to stop soon, um, but I'm going to just quickly go into the objective function. So, um, Let's see, I think this might be on the third page. Um, maybe not. So um, on the second page, it gives us our objective function that we are minimizing. So it's all basically all of these lost interest costs plus all of these um, lockbox costs. Um, so basically, in this um, equation right here, we are multiplying the lost interest costs times our um, X variable that has the two subscripts. So, um, if let's say one to one, so that that would be, I guess, would be um, from west to LA, um, which is down here as well. Um, that operation or that lost interest cost will only be included if X um, is given the value of one, or in other words, if we send a payment from the west to LA. Um, so again, this is for to make sure that we only include the lost costs that we are actually going to have. And then this is the same thing. This um, total lockbox operating cost is only included if we set up in that city. So if we set up in LA, um, then Y1 will get a value of 1, and we will um, include that in our minimization objective function. So what we need to do is sum over. Um, first, we need to sum over our x variable and we put that in brackets and parentheses i comma j since it has the two subscripts and we are multiplying by our lost interest cost and that's indexed like a regular dictionary so we do brackets around the i and the j and we also need our loops and we are summing over so we have it in the same line instead of above 
And when you have two loops like this, since you have two different um, subscripts, um, you can just put them right next to each other. You don't need anything in between. And then we're going to close that off. We're also summing over our y variable and looking at my notes, that's going to be LP sum op cost times or op cost j since we are referring to city um, and I just like to keep it the same for j and city um, multiplying by our y variable again that still has the same subscript since we're referring to the city yeah, so this is our operation cost parameter times whether or not we operate in that city. And we close that off with parentheses. So it's not working. Come on. All right. And I'm just going to move this out so you can pause the video if you'd like to look at this and copy it. Um, and I'm going to split this video up. And so go check out the second part for the rest of the constraints and for printing the solution.